Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel, so today we're going to be doing another Skyrim guide. So in today's video, we are going to be showing you how to get unlimited gold and get gold at a really fast rate. So, so there is a bit of preparation we have to do and what it involves is getting speech to level 100, that's all we need. If you haven't got that to 100 yet, make sure you go and check out my other video, the latest video I uploaded on Skyrim. It will show you how to get level 100 on speech really easy in about 20 to 30 minutes so go and check that out if you have not got speech at level 100 and the reason we want 100 speech is to have the investor and the master trader uh, abilities and also make sure you level up haggling uh, till level 5 because that way uh, we will get a lot better prices when we sell something so um, we want the master trader to, so each uh, merchant has a thousand extra gold and we want the investor uh, that way we can invert 500 gold into the uh, trader we want and that way they'll have more money that they can buy stuff over and make the whole process a lot quicker don't worry about um, investing 500 we're going to get that money back in no time so in my case i'm going to go to the riverwood trader and i'm going to invest 500 uh, in his store that way he in total have 2000 and something like that uh, if you can find a trader with more money the better but like i said for the sake of this video i'm going to just be using this one and even so you can get money really really fast so once we've done that, uh, what we want to do is go to any stables. Uh, in my case, I'm going to go to White Run Stables and I'm going to purchase a horse. So even though the horse is optional, I really do recommend it. And don't worry about the little money you're going to spend on it because you're going to get it back in no time. So once we've got a horse, what we're going to do is fast travel to Winterhold. And that way uh, we will have our horse with us. So uh, from here, what we're going to want to do is from where we spawn in Winterhold, turn around and head off the path uh, backwards. And what I want to do is follow this path, um, it's pretty much just a straight line until we get to this area where we can walk up a hill to the right and there's a little um, tree stump to the left. Uh, so what you want to do is head up that hill, walk in straight, you know if you're on the right place if uh, there's a cave on the navigation bar right in front of you and there's this like arch in front of you. So what we want to do is go through the arch, stick slightly to the left and head towards that cave. Um, where we're going isn't exactly that cave but... Um, I do recommend discovering that cave. I'll do it a bit later on, but yeah, make sure you discover that cave at one point before leaving. Because where we're going is right above that cave, directly above it. So once we're up there, make sure you leave your horse close by. Uh, there's a reason for that I'll explain in a second. Um, anyway, go up to where this uh, skeleton is laying down and just take any of the items around him. It could be this gold, it could be the book, it could be whatever you want. So as soon as that happens, he will get up, just kill him, really easy enemies. Uh, just be careful two other skeletons will spawn behind you also really easy to take out right so now it's the core part of this guide so what we want to do is go and find any part of the body uh, of the first skeleton we could, killed the one that was laying down and what we want to do is just look into his inventory and you see this book the one about oblivion don't pick it up what we want to do is just uh, press circle now search his corpse again and you notice there's a weird glitch uh, that book there is now one more of that book so just spam circle x circle x circle x circle x until you get tired of it i'd do it for about a minute or so even less uh, i think i stopped when there was like 200 books but yeah pick those up and uh, i do obviously if you want a lot of gold uh, i think with these 200 books i got about eight grand or something like that still for a minute it's quite a lot of money but you know if you really want a lot of money without coming back um, just stay there for a good 10 minutes and you know I don't think you ever need gold ever again <laughs> but yeah so once you're tired of that uh, if you're overburdened uh, make sure you get on your horse to fast travel that's the reason I said to stick uh, the horse close because if you get overburdened you can still fast travel as long as you're on the horse um, like I said if you didn't discover the cave before make sure you discover it now that way if you do happen to want to come back just fast travel to this cave and come above it and you're right next to it so now what we want to do is head back to our trader, the trader we invested in. Uh, in my, my case, it's Riverwood Trader. And what we want to do is, um, obviously, it's got about two grand. So uh, you just want to sell books. You just want to sell the right amount of books uh, so it uses his two grand up. Once his two grand's gone, just rest for two days. And, you know, then he'll get his two grand back, do it again, sell the right amount of books and so on and so forth uh, until you get tired of it or got enough money for whatever you want to do also to make the process a tiny bit faster what you can do uh, so you don't have to wait two days as much uh, you can also invest in the blacksmith just outside the door and that way instead of waiting two days uh, you can use this guy's two grand 
then go out the door, which is a really short loading screen, and use the blacksmith two grand, and then wait two days, and that way you've got a bit more money before waiting the two days. But yeah, really simple, get as many books as you want, invest in one of these uh, traders, sell books till he runs out of gold, wait two days, and do it again. And once you're out of books, if you still need more gold, just travel to the cave that was right below the books, and do it again. So yeah guys, this is uh, one of the easiest and quickest ways to get unlimited gold here in Skyrim Special Edition. Obviously, maybe if you had played it in the past and you're a veteran at Skyrim, you may know about this. But this was more intended for the new players. So yeah guys, hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please go like and subscribe. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter. You can support the channel more directly on Patreon, which is much appreciated. And we'll see you next time, guys.